हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम अमित मिश्रा फ्रॉम अग्रवाल पब्लिक इंटर कॉलेज दिस इज सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ द टॉपिक फिगर्स ऑफ स्पीच इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो आई एक्सप्लेन the topic and simile and hyperbole i explained very well now i am going to explain apostrophe again i would like to remind you students for your memory for your knowledge this is a trick by which you can memorize figures of speech you have to write vertically the word shampoo s h a m p w o and if you expand this short form means every alphabet of this word you will get seven figure of speech these seven of these seven figures of speech prescribed for your syllabus i would like to explain these alphabets s for simile h for hyperbole a for apostrophe m for metaphor p for personification o for oxymoron and o for onomatopoeia only these figures of speech are prescribed in your syllabus now i am going to explain apostrophe hum ise ye bhi keh sakte hain ki shampoo word ko agar hum explain kar dete hain to hamare figures of speech hame mil jate hain aapko apni मतलब याद रखने के लिए आप इस वर्ड को याद रखिए और इसका एक्सप्लेनेशन दिस इज वेरी इजी मेथड टू मेमोराइज टू प्रिपेयर योर सिलेबस सो दिस इज द फिगर ऑफ स्पीच एज आई टोल्ड यू इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो दैट दिस दिस इज द क्वेश्चन नंबर एट ऑफ section a part of your board exams even this topic the question of this topic is asked in the first year class as well as in intermediate so i am going to explain apostrophe an apostrophe an apostrophe is a is a direct address to the to the dead to the absent or to a personified personified object or idea this is the definition of apostrophe an apostrophe is a direct address to the dead to the absent or to a personified object or idea examples o captain o captain my captain 
our our fearful trip is done our fearful trip is done students aapko main batana chahunga ki apostrophe ka jo use hota hai to address someone kisi ko jab hame sambodhit karte hue apni baat ko kehna hota hai तो एपोस्ट्रॉफी फिगर ऑफ स्पीच का यूज होता है उसमें जब हम किसी को एड्रेस करते हैं तो एड्रेस हम किस किस को कर सकते हैं टू द एबसेंट टू टू द डेड टू द डेड टू द एबसेंट मींस समवन इज इफ समवन इज डेड ही कैन बी एड्रेस्ड इफ समवन इज एबसेंट that absent person can be addressed and even any personified object or idea can be addressed for addressing the sign of exclamation the sign of exclamation marks is used jis person or ऑब्जेक्ट और आइडिया को हम एड्रेस करते हैं जस्ट आफ्टर आई हैव टू यूज साइन ऑफ एक्सक्लेमेशन दिस दिस साइन इज नोन एज द साइन ऑफ एक्सक्लेमेशन सो इन दिस सेंटेंस अवर ओ कैप्टन माई कैप्टन अवर फियरफुल ट्रिप इज टर्न दिस सेंटेंस हैज बीन टेकन फ्रॉम famous elegy elegy poem o captain my captain written by walt whitman o captain my captain in this sentence captain is is abraham lincoln that is explained to you in the poem so here captain is addressed so this is the example of apostrophe next one oh death where is where is thy sting where is thy sting in this sentence the word death is addressed i may write another example for your better understanding this is the third example o word o word o life o word o life o time o time on whose last step on whose last step i climb so in this sentence word life and time is addressed okay so this is the this is all about apostrophe figures of speech so students you have to write the definition along with examples and if you have any kind of doubt regarding any figure of speech you may comment i will try my best to resolve your confusion i would like to improve 
I would like to share my better explanation for your better understanding. But it is your moral duty to watch this video very honestly, sincerely, and you have to share it with your friends. Now, I move to the next figure of his speech, that is metaphor. Next one is metaphor. This is the definition. In this In this figure of his speech, in this figure of his speech, a comparison is made between two between two different objects between two different objects but words of words of comparison words of comparison as like or so as like so are not used are not used are not used students this is the definition of metaphor in this figure of his speech, a comparison is made between two different objects, between two different objects, but words of comparison, as like so, are not used. In this figure of his speech, comparison is comparison is happened, but comparison is made without using comparison words. This is the important thing. He is mein comparison to hoga. Do objects ke beech mein comparison ko express kiya jayega. But, jo comparison words hain, unka use nahi karte hain. Jaisa ki mainne aapko simile figures of his speech mein explain kiya tha, ki jo comparison hota hai, to different objects mein hota hai. But, वहां पे कंपैरिजन वर्ड्स का यूज करते हैं मेटाफर में कंपैरिजन वर्ड्स का यूज नहीं करते यू मे नोटिस इट थ्रू दिस एग्जांपल एग्जांपल इज लाइफ इज अ ड्रीम लाइफ इज अ लाइफ इज अ ड्रीम so this is there is a comparison life is compared to the dream but there is no comparison words next sentence next example the world is a stage the world is a the world is a stage in this in this sentence, you may see here that the word is compared to a stage. Another example. Example number three.
revenge is a is a kind of revenge is a kind of white justice is a kind of wild revenge is a kind of wild justice so in this example you may see here revenge is compared to a kind of wild justice so this is the metaphor i hope you all are understanding pretty well so i would like to remind you again that you should watch these videos regularly without any gap and for your memory you should watch it again and again and you should share it with your friends another one another figure of his speech is personification personification that is the hindi uh, meaning of this word is manvikaran so i am going to write the definition personification is that figure of his speech is that figure of his speech in which lifeless objects lifeless objects and abstract ideas are thought of are thought of as as living being students you should understand that personification is that figure of speech personification ek aisa figure of speech hai jisme lifeless objects and abstract ideas abstract ideas means feeling abstract means something which you uh, something which you cannot see that you can only realize that is abstract ideas those uh, lifeless objects and abstract ideas are considered as living being means the use of lifeless object and an abstract idea is represented as a living being this is the actual definition of this figure of speech this figure of speech so the example is the example is love is blind first example is love is blind students you know this is a love is a kind of feeling this is abstract noun okay this is abstract noun so love is personified here and next example is experience is the 
experience is the experience is the best teacher in this sentence experience word is personified another example is opportunity knocks at the door but once in this sentence opportunity is personified so students this is all about the personification please watch this video again and again for your better understanding and share it with your friends thank you